my dear student at first i welcome you all in grade 9's maths online class my dear you have read already about the remainder theorem today the turn of factor theorem let us remind about the remainder theorem what the remainder theorem tells us if a polynomial x you can say px polynomial x is divided by any other polynomial gx suppose it is divided by gx then the remainder suppose gx is a x minus a where a is a real number any real number and the degree of the polynomial x is a greater than 1 or equal to 1 if it is divided by once px is divided by x minus a which is a other polynomial gx then the remainder pa is equal then remainder is pa polynomial a you will know it is a remainder remainder theorem but about factor theorem it is same let let px be a polynomial let px be a polynomial degree greater than 1 or equal to one or equal if px is divided by x minus a where a is any real number then remainder is pa equal zero this is the factor so you know let px be a polynomial degree greater than 1 or equal if px is divided by x minus a this is the another polynomial where a is any real number then remainder is pa equal 0 and you can say remainder pa equal zero this is the factor theorem suppose a polynomial is divided by other polynomial and after division remainder comes zero it means one polynomial is a factor of other polynomial why because it 
completely divides, cuts, cancels. Here, that x minus 1, x minus a is a x minus a, here x minus a is a factor of px. Conversely, you can say, suppose, converse, s e l y, conversely, x minus a is factor of px x minus a is a factor of px when remainder pa is equal 0 this is the factor term my dear I want to take a question to show you how a polynomial divides another polynomial and in this way result comes 0. This will satisfy the remainder theorem because to do this I have to erase that first the blackboard okay okay this is the question so that x minus 3 is a factor of the polynomial x cube minus 3 x square plus 4x minus 12 okay my dear by the factor theorem by the factor theorem what do you have to know by the factor theorem if x minus 1 if x minus 1 is a factor of px then P A equal zero. If x minus one is a factor of polynomial x, then P A is equal zero. It means the remainder is equal zero. To prove that, we have to show that x minus three is a factor of polynomial itna. What do you think? Very clear, we have to show that P3 is equal 0. Here is x minus 3. x minus 3 is a divider. To bring x minus 3 is equal 0, what we have to add? Plus 3. Okay? Yeah, you can say x minus 3 is equal 0, therefore x is equal plus 3. But we will we will not take 0. x minus 3 is equal 0, it is not argued. We have to understand what we have to insert here. So by the factor theorem, if x minus 1 is a factor of px, then pa equal 0. Now, to verify, suppose here is a px. px is equal what? x power q 3x square plus 4x minus 12. Okay now, we have to put 3 here. If value of x is equal 3 satisfy and it brings p3 equal 0 it means 
x minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial by putting value 3 to the power 3 3 into 3 to the power 2 plus 4 into 3 minus 12 here you can write 3 to the power 3 3 3 times 27 3 3 is 9 4 3 is 12 27 minus 27 plus 12 minus 12 cancel cancel therefore p3 is equal 0 it means remainder is 0 hence hence x minus 3 is the factor of polynomial x is equal x cube minus 3x square plus 4x minus 12. In this way, you can show that this is the factor of this much. By putting the value of x, you will get by the factor theorem, if x x minus a is a factor of px, then p a is equal kitna. Suppose px, this is the px polynomial in x divided by this polynomial. If we will divide it, certainly either uh, you can say remainder comes 0 or yeah, any constant. If it comes 0, if remainder comes 0, then you can say that one polynomial, this is also a polynomial, this polynomial divides this polynomial without leaving the remainder as a constant. Right? Okay, I am going to take another example. Okay, no? at first I have to erase the blackboard. Okay. Hello, use factor theorem to find whether, to find whether polynomial gx is factor of polynomial fx. This is fx and this is gx, both are two polynomial by using factor theorem. You know, by the factor theorem, by the factor theorem, if x minus 1, x minus 1 is a factor of px, x minus 1 is a factor of px then pa is equal 0 ok in this question we have to so that x minus 3 is a factor of this polynomial x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6 to to show that that x minus 3 is a factor of what here fx factor of fx it is necessary you can say sufficient to
prove that P3 equal 0. To show that x minus 3 is a factor of fx, it is sufficient to prove that you can say so that P3 equal 0. Here is a minus 3, certainly you have to take positive. If here is a minus 7, you will take plus 7. If here is a plus 5, you will take minus 5. Okay. Now what is fx? fx is equal x cube minus 6x square plus 11x minus 6. Take here 3. Same way, 3 to the power 3 minus 6 into 3 square plus 11 into 3 minus 6. I want to look. P3 is equal 0 or not. Comes 0 or not. 27. 6 into 3, 3 is 9. 11, 3 is 33 minus 6. Once again. 27 minus 9, 6 is 54. 33 minus 6. My dear. You have to and all positive ones this plus this 0 3 to 5 1 6 minus 50 minus 54 and minus 6 you know very well 60 will, will be here 0 p3 is equal 0 what comes 0 it means therefore x minus 3 is the factor factor of fx you can say px in this way you can show that you can understand what is factor theorem you have to remind once uh, reminder theorem also both are same but In a factor theorem, you can say a polynomial divides another polynomial completely, leaving remainder zero. But here, here is the two questions B and C. As a HW, you have to solve it, and you will send it in group if you have any type of confusion you will you can ask me yeah you can phone me you can ask different type of question related to factor yeah reminder theorem hmm. in my personal whatsapp yeah in the group okay thank you best of luck okay